Goose is the first player in the game with this armor set. In fact, the first player with any of the Ancient Warrior sets. This is full Vesta to be exact, which, like Bandos and Torva, has strength bonuses for each piece. When all armor pieces are worn, the accuracy of melee special attacks are increased by 15%. He grinded hard for this. Was it worth the time investment? Ooh, that guy melted like an ice fiend in Alcarid. With the release of Bounty Hunter, four new armor sets were released, but not new concepts. These powerful Ancient Warriors armor sets require dozens of hours of PvP success to unlock, and then they must be charged with millions of coins that are dropped to the owner's assailant upon death. With the points to purchase the full armor sets being a point of contention amongst the player base, these armors take an absurd amount of time to grind. The only way to avoid that smite would have been to combo eat a super resort with a prayer potion. In fact, he just uploaded this video called I am the first player with full Vesta. We look forward to seeing more players complete these armor sets so we can all get a better look at their strength and effects. Welcome back to RuneScape Chronicles. We upload every single day, so support us by leaving a like and hitting bell notifications on. Instajashi is looking to feast, but he says he's pretty new to PK. Bro, this guy's gonna take my head off, I swear to God. Oh my god, what a stack. Wait, did he get smited? I think he got smited. No, no way I pick it a Void Waker. Okay, he's hit his peak. An epic Void Waker smite. You don't see those too often. Joe's Exotic is fighting someone with much better gear than he has. Ooh, he had one hit point left. A solid 60 mil from the unschooled Torva guy. Time for some upgrades. Buggy Badger is going for a fire cape on his one defense pure, and it's close. But count him now, boys! Oh no, look at that! Oh god, did we get it? Ah! Jag X, I want a refund! But this Badger didn't bug. He turned around and went back in. Plenty of HP to spare. Congrats, Badger. I think some of the new rewards should be usable outside of yeah i think so i think they i think they all should be usable outside of bh that would be nice actually imagine imagine triberting with javelins bro like you know how cool that that'll be would allowing use of these armors outside of bounty hunter break the game or is the community simply being old-fashioned leave a comment for me down below i'll be reading all of them Recently, we saw Lake explain how he self-boosts his hardcore Iron Man to almost guarantee purples. Today, he's back with a vengeance. Oh my god, that's big. That is huge, dude. Fuck the Arabs, dude. Fuck the Arabs, I guess. Now that is a serious upgrade. He goes for the back-to-back. -back. Look, come on, purple. Let's go, six in a row. <gasps> no shot, dude. Back-to-back -back with the top. No get away, dude. Fuck the Arabs for real this time. <laughs> Honestly, fuck the Arabs for real this time, man. Incredible. Ancestral almost completed. And for those who are wondering, that's six purples in six raids. Insanity. Foe is fighting Jad, which is a dangerous death for hardcore group Iron Man. Done. Done. All right. <clears throat> oh my god, I got the... Okay, no pet. Never mind. The collection log is the fire cape. I, I thought the collection log was the pet. I forgot you get a collection log for that too. Donator is fighting Rogue. His target is nearby, biding his time. Here's your reminder that your target can attack you at any time, even if you're already in combat. Eliop is up against someone in nearly max gear. Oh my god, oh my god. Time for redemption is now. Oh my god, I just PK'd f***ing Max. Holy shit. Holy shit, no way. Oh my god. Let's go, bro. Yo. If you guys don't know, normal void is basically paper for defense. Double it. 
No way. Please tell me he didn't bake claws. Dude, is that claws? Wow. No, oh, I'm dead. Ah! Don't whack me at 51. <sighs> Try asking a little more kindly next time. Skill Specs isn't scared of noobs. Those legs, though, bro. I'm going to be whipping him every hit, bro. I was 1 HP, bro. It would have been criminal for me not to. Why you didn't go for that risk is beyond me, bro. If you would have had a sack there, you would have made 60 beans from nothing. You risk 500k, and you still didn't have the balls to go for a risk. But will you risk leaving the video a like to help support the channel? I thought so. Skill Specs has had a bad feeling about this guy. But this guy is legit a grassy rusher. He sits in here and just rushes with grassy all day, bro. I know what his game is. He's gonna he's gonna have grassy spec around now, ready to go. Dying on the I think I give up, bro. I think I'm done, man. I think it's cool penguin for me, bro. But he knows the game where he's most loved. It's, oh, okay. it's, sorry, I'm la laughing at the person in chat that said skill specs on stream. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's pretty good. Flipper is locked in battle with a high risker in Bounty Hunter. <laughs> no way! No way! No way! No way! Ooh, we used to call that a kill for kill back in the Halo days. The race is on. Will he find it? Holy shit. <laughs> no way. Now that was a profit. Great job, Clipper. Skill Specs recently took to Twitter to ask Mod Ash if his account had been intentionally given bad RNG. While this may seem like a bit of a <clears throat> reach, the topic wasn't as far-fetched as you might think. In fact, it was Mod Reach that had implemented a secret code to punish raggers by removing their ability to speak to the elves who sell crystal bows, which was once the most popular weapon for ragging. And this was all revealed to us by Mod Ash's tweet. Will Jmods confirm that the game's code somehow turns Skill Specs' Darok set into a Torag set? 31 Prayer, by the way, is exactly what his name describes, an Iron Man who keeps his prayer level at 31, which means no protection prayers. But he wants the perfect theater combat achievement, which requires flawless gameplay and taking no avoidable damage during the entire raid. Leeching from his friends, they carry him through the raid, and he logs in at the last moment to get the perfect top task completed. Regardless of the boosting, this still is a world first. And congrats, that's pretty impressive. This has been another episode of RuneScape Chronicles. Thank you to our members. We will see you again tomorrow.